So I've been talking about tablets a lot here on this channel here lately, and I'm going to probably keep doing it because there's a lot of stuff about these devices that I think are interesting, and there's some tips I feel like I can give to give people a better experience, in particular on their Android tablet. So today we're going to be talking specifically about my Galaxy Tab device, but this applies to pretty much any Android tablet. There's a problem with Android tablets in particular. The bigger the screen, in particular the wider the screen, right? 16 by 9, 16 by 10. It's not as bad if it's a 3 by 2 or even a 4 by 3, which doesn't really exist outside of this guy, which isn't really a tablet. I digress. There's a problem though. The wider the screen gets, the worse Android really gets in general. And if we jump to the overhead camera here, you'll see exactly what I mean by that. Android is just not designed to fit well on a screen this wide. Obviously, it's meant to run on a phone, which is going to be closer to this. But if you're like me, you don't use your tablet like this because a lot of us have something like a keyboard cover, which makes it basically be a laptop. So we find ourselves in this sort of a position, and then we do something like we launch Twitter. And the experience that we get on Twitter is, let's be honest here, terrible. Twitter looks absolutely horrible on a, on a display with this sort of dimension. It's just stretched out across the entire display. What an absolutely horrible experience to be having on Twitter. Now, look, if I'm being honest here, my biggest complaint here, this is not a complaint against Android. This is more a complaint against Twitter, against these app makers for not updating their apps to work better on a tablet. Tablets are, are around. They've been around for a long time. They're popular. Instagram doesn't work well. Twitter doesn't work well. A lot of these apps just don't work well on these devices. But there's something that you can do about this. Let's take a look here. And it's really, really simple. So here's something that you may not know. But if you just go to your web browser and you launch Twitter there, you get the desktop version of Twitter because it's gonna pick up that there is a full desktop size screen here. So you get Twitter that looks like the desktop. And I would argue this is a far superior experience on Twitter. And now you could just end it there, right? You could just say, I'll just go to my web browser every time. But there's something more that you can do if you're using a web browser based in Chromium. So I'm using the Edge browser. There's another step you can take. You can click on your settings right here and you can look for add to phone. And if you're on Chrome, there's a similar option. This is on Edge, but you'll see an option that says install or add to phone. And whenever you click it, you'll get a pop up to allow you to install the web page. I'm not going to do it here because I've already done it. And you'll see here on my desktop, there it is. There's Twitter installed as a web app. And what happens whenever I launch this is I get it full screen. There's no there's no bar at the top. There's no address bar at the top. It's just Twitter in a window that looks like it's an app. And it functions just like an app. If you go to your multitasking, you'll see that it shows up as its own thing here. And to me, that works far, far better than the actual Twitter app. Now, I wish I could say that you could do the same thing here for Instagram. But for some reason, it just doesn't work the way it should. And I'll show you what I mean here. If we take a look here at Instagram, let's go ahead and launch the actual Instagram app and I'll show you the problem. Well, it automatically rotates this way and you can't, you literally cannot get it to rotate. And that's horrible and awful. So you would think then you could simply go to your Edge browser. You could go to Instagram, right? And here we go. This looks better, right? This is way better, way better than we have on the actual app. And most of the features even work. And you think then you could go and you could add to phone. You could install it just like we did Twitter, right? Now let's go open it. And you're going to find that the web app forces you to rotate because, uh, you know, the people who run Instagram are literally the devil and they just won't let us have anything better than this. So that's a bummer. But there's one more really, really great use for this in particular on your tablet. And that involves text messaging because I love having this cool keyboard. I love being able to text message from my tablet and there are lots of apps that let you do this but there's one that you might already be using that will allow you to do this quite easily. Okay so if we jump back to our tablet here let's go ahead and go back to Edge Canary and now we're going to go to messages.google.com 
and you should land on a web page that looks a bit like this. Now back on your phone, you need to make sure that you're running as your text messaging app, Google Messages. And for a lot of phones, that is the app that comes stock. Just make sure that's what you are running. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is Google Messages here. Just go to your Play Store and download. I'm on the beta version, ignore that, it's fine. Once it's downloaded and set as your default app, you're gonna simply go to your app, open up this side menu, and look now for device pairing. And now you'll see what I have here. I got a QR code scanner here and I've got a QR code down here. Make sure to take this box, which makes it remember what you're doing here because it'll forget every time. But before you actually do this and scan your code, you're going to go ahead and install this app. You're going to go and click your button. You're going to add to phone and you're going to install it. Then once it's opened, you can go through this process of scanning the QR code and then from there you wind up with this. I've actually got mine on my taskbar down here. Let's go ahead and tick my box. Let's do my QR code scanner. Let's scan it. And that's done. And there is my text messages. They're all populating there on my tablet and I can click on one. I can see my messages. I can send, respond, whatever I want to do. And if this web browser app, this web app is running in the background, you'll actually even get notifications from it should you choose to enable them. You can actually turn that off if you don't like it, but they are there if you do want them to be there. And I find this to be really, really useful because I've got my, my tablet set up like a laptop and I'm doing stuff on it. My phone's in my pocket. I get a text message. Maybe I see it on my smartwatch if I got the notifications disabled on the tablet, but whatever. I get a text message. I can just respond to it right there without having to pull my phone out. And it works exceptionally well. Guys, there are a ton of web apps that you could install, things that might work better than the actual app in the Play Store. If you know of any more of them, drop them in the comments down below, share them with the other viewers so that we can all enjoy the wonderfulness that are web apps. That is web apps? That isn't Sunride either. I don't know. English is hard. Guys, thanks for making it to the end of today's video. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.